Jenny and this is the Postgrad channel where we talk about all things having to do with being an adult and it's the 6th right now of December so I'm filming this a little late um, but last week I turned 25 and now I'm like really an adult and really gotta get my shit together so we're working on that but today's video is going to be my November favorites these are all the things that I loved and discovered mostly in November or rediscovered in November and the things that I think that I want to tell you that I really like. There's a little bit of everything in here. I did do some major hauling for my birthday towards the end of November but since I haven't posted those hauls yet um, I haven't included any of those things in my favorites just because I don't think it's fair to um, talk about things that I got at the end of November, you know, as like a November favorite when I didn't have it all of November. So, let's just get started. My phone has my list of things on it, so I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. Oh shit, I lost something in the bathroom. BRB. Okay, I'm back. So, I had to run and get something out of my shower, and this will be the first thing that I talk about. This is the Numi White Truffle Hair Treatment Mask, and so... Because I have such long hair and I shower so infrequently, pretty much every time I shower I use like a conditioning mask instead of a regular conditioner because like I just don't shower often so like when I do shower I really want to deep condition my hair. I got this when I got, I put in an order from Numi when it was on sale or something and this was half off so I think I got it for $10 about. It's $20 but it's like small. like. It's a very small bottle to be $20, but oh my goodness, guys, I used it, obviously I used it the last time I showered, and it just, like, especially the first day, like, I know once you've gone a day or two after showering, it doesn't really affect anything, but, like, when I woke up the next morning and my hair was dry, I was like, oh my god, like, I just kept touching my hair, I kept telling everybody to touch my hair, because it just, it makes it feel so soft, and repaired like you can't it doesn't feel damaged anymore at least for like the first couple days and it also smells amazing but the only negative to this mask is that it is very expensive to me for such a small amount and like I really do have to use a lot and like I said since I use this every time I condition my hair I usually wash my hair like one and a half times a week so like about every four days it's just not going to last very long. Like, if you look, this mask was also $20, and it probably holds about twice as much product. So it's just not a lot, but it smells great. I don't have that problem that I've had with other masks where it makes my whole shower smell. I really, really love this. Next, this is something that I've had for a very, very long time. This was like, I don't even know how I got this, or when I got this, or why I got this, but this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Express for Brows and Eyes. And like, I'm, I doubt they even make this anymore. If they do, I will link it down below. This is in the shade Brunette. But what it is, is it's just, it's such a mess because I've had it forever. But I stopped using it for a really long time. And I don't know why. I think like, I got more into makeup and this was like, I didn't realize how big, like how awesome this was. But what it is, is you have a mirror and then um, it came with, stencils and that's really why I got it it came with stencils that you can like shape your brow with and then it comes with a wax um, a light and a dark brow powder and like a shimmery and a pale like a plain highlight and it, I guess you can also use these as oh I just totally swatched on the same finger um, I guess you can also use these as eyeshadows but I use them in my brows today and I've been using it a lot in the last month and I usually use my NYX pencil to do my eyebrows, but since I rediscovered this, like, in the back of one of my drawers, I, like, have been obsessed with how defined I can get my eyebrows with the powder. Because with the pencil, like, I don't really want to draw, like, a line around my eyebrows because it's really hard to fade it out. But with this, I use the brush that came with it. It's just, like, an eyebrow brush or eyeliner brush. And you can create, like, that line 
and then fade it out so it like fades up into the brow and doesn't look quite as stark and then obviously the wax is great the colors are very very pigmented and then the highlight is great as well I think that I've lost all of the stencils from here but at this point I don't really need a stencil I just needed something great to fill on my brows and like they just look so good and defined and like full and I am obsessed another thing that I've rediscovered this month is my black beauty blender and I have two beauty blenders this one's obviously full of water because I used it today but I have a black one and a pink one and the problem is is that the pink one I don't feel gets as full like when I fill this black one up with water it's very squishy it's very spongy and I feel like it really like holds on to some of that water so it really like helps my makeup apply more evenly this pink one, on the other hand, when it fills, it stays this skinny. So, like, it doesn't get nearly as big as this. It's not as, like, squishy and spongy as this one is. And I was using this for a really long time because I was like, this is the original one, so this has to be better. And it was different, so I thought it was better. But when I recently went back and used this one this month, I was like, oh my goodness, why did I ever stop using this one? Because it has this perfect, this side, like, flattens out and it's perfect for putting on foundation whereas this side stays very rounded and it's just much better i don't know why i ever started using this one now i've heard that every beauty blender is different and like some just fatten up different than others but for now i'm going to keep using this one and probably use this one sparingly or traveling because this one's way better in my opinion i don't know you guys let me know whether you have found the same thing with your black versus pink beauty blenders. Maybe it's just me, but I like this one better. This is another rediscovery. This is the Beauty Crop Lightning Crew uh, Highlighting Cream. And I got this in some beauty subscription box, probably BoxyCharm or Glossy Box, probably BoxyCharm. And it's just this amazing cream highlighter. It's this golden pink color. I don't know if you can see that. And it's just so beautiful. I have it there and also here from where I did my makeup earlier. But it's like the most beautiful, like the most beautiful golden pink color. It can go, I put it on on top of powder, on top of my foundation. Uh, I usually just like wipe it onto my hand, like dot it onto my hand. And then use my beauty blender to kind of dot it like on my cheekbone and above my eyebrow. And I have champagne pop on top of it but it just is like the most beautiful natural looking highlight I wear this a lot on work days where like I really don't need to be like ba bam glowing everywhere but like I still want to be like fresh and a little bit glowy this is amazing and this tube is so small and it'll last you like your whole life because you only have to use like the tiniest amount and just dot it all around and it's like I can't believe I ever stopped using this. Okay, those are all the rediscoveries. New things. Um, so I got this. I think I have already hauled this, but I have had this before. I got a sample of it of, an, of it in an Ipsy bag. I knew I loved it then, and I used it for a really long time, but because it was a sample, I kind of tried to, like, save it and make it last. So I kind of stopped using it, and then Ipsy had a sale for with this and the peel-off mask. This is the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. And it's just like a morning moisturizing serum and it is amazing I started using it again a lot once I got this full size I took it with me on vacation I've been using it every single morning before I put on my makeup and it's this yellow color I'll show it to you because it's a very unique color it's yellow like bee pollen yellow and it just is so smooth and soothing and it makes your skin feel super soft and moisturized and it makes your makeup go on so freaking smoothly it's amazing it's so incredible I haven't used this at night I literally only use it in the morning I put it on every morning before I put my makeup on it's become part of like my makeup morning skincare routine and I just love it it's for all skin types I haven't seen it break me out or make me oily so that's another reason that I like it because I'm really oily so usually I'm afraid of moisturizers but because this is so light and serum based it like doesn't make me oily and it feels amazing and it makes your skin look really good like I can see the beneficial effect that it has had like 
on my actual skin. So I also went to Target at the beginning of this month. While I was there, I saw these, uh, what are they, the Up and Up brushes, that's the Target brand, and I had heard maybe Kathleen Lights talk about them, and she said that they were really, really good. So I got two. This one is a just a plain powder brush, and it comes in like this tube, so it's like really great for traveling and throwing in your purse, but guys, this brush is amazing. I don't know if you can see or like tell, but it's very loose. And so it's great. I've been using it for under eye setting powder. I've been using it to put like my Laura Mercier powder all over my face and just kind of set my foundation because like I said, I am oily. So I set it every day, but it's so soft. It's so luxurious. Like it just like feels amazing and it does the best job of like just like an all over dusting of powder. And I love that it's like travel capable so I can like throw this in my bag and not worry about getting dented or bent and like I can use this to touch up throughout the day. The other brush this is I think like a, a large powder brush or a large kabuki brush. I've been using this for bronzer this entire month and I love it. It's so dense like it's you can see I'm pushing on it and it like doesn't really move. It's super dense and so it picks up a lot of powder right here and then like when you pat it in the thing I'll pick it up like right on the middle and then I like dot that on and then blend it out and it's so large and dense that it just blends out perfectly my bronzer has been going on so much better than it usually does and I think it's because of this brush because it just does such a good job it's so soft again like the other one it hasn't shed or anything it's, I've cleaned it a couple times and it's like kept its shape and everything and I just love it. The foundation I have been loving this month, I really shouldn't talk about this because I did get it in that haul. This is from Ulta and I may or may not have posted that haul already. I don't think I have. But I just couldn't not because I've been wanting this for so long. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is SPF 50, anti-aging and hydrating serum. I've heard so many good things about this and I've been wanting like a next level up BBCC cream. I have the L'Oreal one, but it's not like full coverage and it doesn't last very long. So I've been wanting something that's like gonna be the next level up and covered. So one of the things that I love about this is that it comes in a pump, so it's super easy to dispense and get out. It's very, um, it looks very cool but it's not pink and so it doesn't like I can still wear it even though I'm pretty warm because it doesn't like come off pink on my hand. I love that it has an SPF in it so I can wear it in the summer when I don't really want to wear a lot and I can still have that uh, SPF in it. It is fairly full coverage. It feels really good. I do still have to set it and kind of pay attention to it because my skin is just prone to getting oily but I really really like this. I have two more makeup items. The first, this I got in probably a BoxyCharm also. This is the Manicadar Beauty Simplified. It's like a primer lip gloss. I forget what it is. But this is in the shade Lucky. And when I first got it, I was like, oh, I've gotten one of these before. I didn't really like it. But the one that I got before was crappy. And this one is amazing. First of all, Look at that pigmentation and color amazing like that's an amazing color it's my favorite color to wear on my lips it's beautiful it's so pigmented it's very glossy but not sticky and it's great right like when you first put it on it looks awesome and I'm gonna like wipe this off immediately when you first put it on it looks awesome and it's beautiful and it's the best thing ever and it looks great and then as like the glossy part fades away it leaves you with like this beautiful stain it's a gloss stain so it leaves you with first it's glossy and it looks beautiful and amazing and then the glossy part fades and it's like this most beautiful stain on your lips it's not dry it doesn't make them crack they still feel very moisturized but it's just not glossy anymore and then you can put another layer back on and it's amazing I've been wearing this lots but What's on my lips today is Dose of Color Stone. And I got this at the end of October, I want to say. And I'm obsessed. 
and I kind of hated liquid lipsticks and I was like I don't understand this like it makes my lips feel so dry and crackly and it looks like the Sahara Desert on my face and then I tried the Dose of Colors version and I was like oh this is totally different it's not dry at all it doesn't make my lips crack it doesn't make them look dry it's the most gorgeous color obviously I have it on my lips it's just beautiful it feels great and I'm like totally a convert plus like look at this packaging with like the frosted glass and it lasts forever like I don't have to touch it up I don't have to ever do anything it's amazing and I can't believe it took me this long to get it the only reason I did wait is because I didn't want all three so as soon as it came out by itself I did purchase it but the last item that I have here is the poopery original scent and when I first got this I was like whatever like I live by myself and I don't really like care you know like I'm not gonna spray it for my own sanity reasons so in case you've never heard of poopery this is a spray that you spray into the toilet before you go and it like traps the scent of your poo in the toilet so like your bathroom doesn't smell in case you're like going at somebody's house or in a public restroom and you don't want it to smell or like maybe in your own restroom and you don't want it to smell so when I first got this I was like nah I'm never gonna use it and then I went home for Thanksgiving and my entire family was there like 18 of us and my stepmom had this in the bathroom and I was like let me just spray it and see what happens and it was like magic like there was like no scent and I was like okay yeah I'll probably use that one that I have and I've been using it ever since just cause like Jay is here sometimes and I don't want him to really smell my poo like yeah we know each other poops but we don't really talk about it and I don't really want him to smell it and I leave this in there so that maybe he'll use it and I won't have to smell his but it works like if you guys are questioning it go buy a small one they have them at Bath and Body Works not Bath and Body Works they have them at Bed Bath and Beyond for like five dollars just get a little bitty one and test it out it will last you forever you only need like two spritzes in the bowl and it's amazing so another thing that I have been loving this month I kind of fell off in like late October early November and then I found it again in November and this is the question and answer a day and it's 365 questions so you have one question every day and then you answer it every single year for five years so you can kind of see like how you've changed and like how your answer to these questions have changed over five years so let me give you an example of some of the questions that I've answered um, one of them is like as simple as what can you smell right now and my answer was the Montana air because I was in Montana when I answered that one and then let's say another question what is your resolution for tomorrow um, my answer was be more self-sufficient at work because I've been struggling with not relying on the more experienced person that I work with I've been struggling with kind of like not still feeling like a student and being in that student role so that's my answer for that one and then we'll read one more when was the last time you worked out and I said this is a sore subject it's been way too long so it's cool and like I said you can answer um, every year for five years and kind of compare your answers and it's nice to kind of like think about the answers to questions like this I'm excited to see like what it looks like a year from now and this is the book there's one question on every page and it's cute it's small so it's not a lot to take with you and I really like it okay two more things here and they are these lipstick holders that I got so this is the lip gloss one and this is where I'm keeping all of my liquid lipsticks or like more colored things it's nice to have them out of the drawer so I have more drawer space they look really cool I can like actually see them and remember to use them and then I've also got like some lip glosses in here too just because I wanted to fill it up but yeah this is one of them so this is a lip gloss one I just ordered them from Amazon they were like $15 I want to say and then I got a lipstick one so this just has all of my lipsticks in it except one but I have these all upside down so I can like actually see the color so like this is the right way but then you can't tell what color it is so they're just upside down so I can read the label so those are all my lipsticks and I just love having them out where I can see them so just instead of like going to the same ones every day because I know where they are 
I have like them all out in front of me and I can really look and like choose what I want to wear on my lips. So that is the last tangible thing that I have for my favorites. And then I have a few songs. I'm going to tell you all of them, but I won't play all of them. First of all, the entire album, the entire Justin Bieber album, except for his singles, I love. I don't like his singles like, where are you now? What do you mean? I think they're stupid. I think they sound the same. Like, it's the same song with different words. Um, Sorry is okay, but like, if you listen to his actual album, it's amazing and like it sounds like a different person I also love One Direction's album album especially love you goodbye I just think it's like such a moving song and I love it humble and kind by Tim McGraw I think it's just like a lesson like a song that everybody needs to listen to like it, the moral of the song is like no matter what you do like just always be humble and always be kind and like everything in life will be okay um scars to your beautiful by Alicia Cara I know that's not like her single, obviously, here is her single, but Scars You're Beautiful, again, like just has this beautiful message, no matter what you look like, who you are, whatever, you're still beautiful. And I will put this recipe down below, but I have been loving this pasta, it's like a um, pasta with a cream sausage, sausage cream sauce, and it's so good. So it sounds really simple, it's just like the curly pasta and a cream sauce with sausage but you soak the sausage like you cook the sausage and then you soak it in the cream so the cream like takes on like all the flavors of the sausage and then there's wine in it there's nutmeg in it there's parsley and onion and it's so good and so flavorful i love it like i'm obsessed with it i made it twice this year or twice this month and i ate leftovers for like a month and it's so so good and i'll leave the link to the recipe down below. I forget what website it's from, but I will leave that below and I'll have it written up here somewhere. The person whose food blog that it's on, but it's so good. So yeah, that's everything that I loved this November. I hope that you guys found some of this stuff interesting, whether or not you've tried it before or maybe now you're interested in trying it. Please let me know and let me know what you loved this month down below so I can try them out because I love trying new things. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to see, I don't know, my December favorites or you can go back and see what I loved in October and September and all the way back to May. Oh so, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.